Hello, hello. I'm sorry to be a little bit late, but I had some problems with the internet. But here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Welcome, everybody. Jessica Carolina, William, Gracia Maria. Hello, Estenia. Hello, Elsa. Rena Lexi, Jessica Perez. It's a pleasure. Evelyn, Brenda, and Jonathan. Welcome to everybody, right? So let's begin with the class. Let's start with the class. Okay, give me a second. Okay, let's start with the present. Oh, Jessica says, oyente. Okay, very good, Jessica, I understand. Jessica Perez. Okay. Good. Eh, Jessica Carolina. Okay, Jessica Carolina. Very good. Nice. René Alexi. Ah, okay, René Alexi. That's okay. Brenda. <laughs> okay. Brenda, everything is okay? Brenda, sorry. Ah, okay, I understand. Stop, please. Stop. No more, please. Only for students. Right? No more. No more. Stop. <laughs> okay. Now let's start with the class. Ada. Okay. Oh, good. Good, Ada. Just give me a second. Uh, okay, here. Good. Uh, some of you are on your way to on your way home, right? I understand that. I understand. Okay. Now let's start with the presentation. By the way, I don't see it. Just give me a second here. Okay. Here, right? Good. Yesterday we were learning about the information question, right? Information question. Then we have here, what do you do? What, what do we, where, when do we go? How do they, what time, right? Okay, uh, let me see. Jose Atilio, help me please. Did we finish this yesterday? No, right? Page 32 in the manual. I remember, yes. Yeah, right. Ah, okay, so uh, I factor picture that my computer, my computer, I Yeah, yes. right. Okay, good. I remember, yes. Good, very good. They have they have Okay, good. Let me see in my yeah, card. because I we know how No, no, I remember, Jose Atilio. Thank you. Now I remember that. No. Yes. The question we make are on page 30. Yes. These are the ones, eh, Jose Atilio. Look. Estas son las que hicimos, right? Mm -hmm. I remember. No, no, right? No, teacher. Es de la, de la página 30. Mm -hmm. Cinco. Yes. Yes, so we finished. Yes, you're right. Let me see. This is the one, right? Esta la que no hicimos. Yes. Let me see. These are the one. Aquí están. Okay. Yes. Good. It's, it's because they are very similar. I was lost because they are similar. 
They are similar, right? Okay. Now, in this case, you are going to make questions using why, where, what, and when, right? Uh huh. Ahí en el cosas compartir la imagen de la que hicimos ah, ayer. Okay. La Very good. Uh -huh. Page 30, right? Uh huh. Thank you, Jose Tila. I was confused. Let me check. Eh. <laughs> Sorry. Here, right? Okay. Excelentoso, Jose Tilio. Uh, when do you have to write? I have to write a report about uh, every Friday. Okay. Yes, you're right. No sé cómo se diría en background, ¿qué sería? O mi respaldo, ¿cómo sería? Ah, background, background. It's correct. Your background. Thank you. You're very intelligent and disciplined, right? Yes. So when a teacher is lost, you can help the teacher. <laughs> okay. This is the exercise, yes. And this is very similar with this. Okay. But in this case, what you're going to do is to uh, make this uh, information question. And remember, they have four parts. Look at this. For example, where do you live? Where do you live? And then we have information question word. Where? Number one. Auxiliary do or does? Two. Subject, you, right? And finally, a verb, leave, right? Okay? Now, let's do it. I will give you some minutes to finish. In the meantime, I will pass the attendant, right? Vamos a pasar asistencia, right? Today, only listener. Hoy tengo bastantes oyente so let me see teacher yes jose tilio today is uh, uh engineer day oh really yes let me see the calendar aha uh -huh. it says dia del ingeniero civil no oye oh, yeah. no jose jose tilio igual Pero... el 13 no fíjense todos están todos están mandando mensajes ahorita los colegas Uh -huh. Okay. Pero también que era esta fecha en la U así lo celebraba. Ah, okay. Okay, so congratulations. <laughs> yes, we have to change the oh, calendar. A, a todos los a todos los que también a los demás. So los to all the engineers, congratulations, say Dudley. Clap Dudley. Congratulations to all the engineers. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, eh? It's a very nice uh, occupation. It's very nice. Okay. Now, let's start with the attendance, right? Elsa is listener present, right? Don't don't speak, Elsa. No voy a hablar, no voy a decir nada. <laughs> Descanse su garganta, eso. Okay. Eh, Jessica Carolina, está de oyente. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Araceli. No. Ok. Eh, Estenia. Estenia. Freddy. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you, Freddy. Kenia está de oyente también, ¿verdad? Ok. Gracias, María. Present. Thank you, Delia. Present, teacher. Ada, estado oyente. And Jonathan. Present, teacher. Thank you. René, Alex y Brenda, estando oyentes. Ingrid. Ingrid. Ok, José Atilio. Present, teacher. Jessica Pérez, de oyente, y uh, Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee. René. Present. Thank you, María René. 
Eh, Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. William. Present. And Erenia. Present. Thank you very much. Missy. Good. No problem, right? Maybe, uh, Elsa, you can give me the answer for number four in the chat, please. The answer of number four in the chat, if you want. Okay, class, let's start with number one. Volunteer for number one. Me, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jose Atilio. Why? Why? Does he have a meeting? A meeting. Why does he have a meeting, right? Okay, nice. Number two, please. Volunteer for number two. Uh, who is it? Uh, Freddy, Freddy. Where does he... She. That she. Process. Da. No logro leerlo. Payment. Ah, okay. Payment. No logro leerlo. Okay. Very good. <laughs> the payment, right? The payments. Where does she process the payment? Process because you use the auxiliary that, right? It's not processes, no. It's process, right? Okay, nice. Number three, please. Volunteers, number three. The four is for Elsa in the chat. Elsa in the chat. Ingrid, look, for number three for Ingrid. <laughs> yeah. So volunteers. Volunteers. What does Ingrid uh -huh. do on Wednesday? What? Does Ingrid do do on Wednesday? On Wednesday, excuse me. Ingrid study English. She studies English, right? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Uh huh. Good. And number four, Elsa says, when does uh, the employee acquire the raw material, right? Uh -huh. When does the employee, we'll have the, the, the article there, Elsa. When does the employee mm -hmm. No, no, don't say sorry. It's okay. Employee acquire the raw material. Right? It's perfect, Elsa. Teacher, what is the meaning acquiring? Acquire is adquirir. Adquirir, right? When does the employee acquire the raw material, right? But Jose Atilio, do you understand what is raw material, right? Yes. Very nice. Okay, class. This is it. This is it, right? Information question, right? Very good. Now, we continue with the class today, right? Now, I will send, I will show you the presentation for tonight. The presentation for tonight.
Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to basic module one, English for Work program, right? In support, English Corporativo, the teacher Javier Gomez and the student Freddy Eli Vasquez Monterrosa say welcome to this class, right? And the topic for today is how to use questions with what time? Time, right? What time? So, hello, Freddy's daughter or Freddy's son, I don't know, but hello, hello. Hello, teacher. This is your daughter or your son, Freddy? Hmm? Um, I don't know, teacher. Your cousin or your nephew, sobrino. Uh, cousin. 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 Okay. Hello, Freddy's cousin. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's begin, right? Let's begin. The objective. Jose Atilio, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Unit three. Where do you work? I will be I will be uh, able to ask for and say the time of the activity as our workplace. Okay, thank you very much. Time is the time of the season, right? Okay, time is really important, right? Is an invention of the man, but it's important, right? Look, here we have some, Peter. yeah? Then uh, the video the send send me today is time after time. Ah, <laughs> it's related with the topic. Yes, time after time. Oh, okay. we love. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Cindy Loper, right? Cindy Loper. Okay, good. good song. Yes, it's the oldies. The oldies. Uh, it says it's one o'clock. One o'clock is one o five. O is five after one. I will copy here if you want, for example. The first one is right, is one o'clock. Could be AM or PM, right? But it's one o'clock. Now is one o five. Is one o five. The zero in English is pronounced o. One o five, right? And is one. Fifteen is one fifteen, right? Is one o'clock? Is one o five? Okay, and is one fifteen. But you can also say is one o five. You can say it five after one. So you use the word after, right? Okay, and then in the next one, it says it's 115, or oh, it's a quarter, a quarter after one, right? It's a quarter after one. Remember that the quarters in, in a dollar, for example, right? The quarters in a dollar are... 25 cent, right? A quarter, a quarter, right? So it's a quarter. Quarter. But the reason is because uh, the dollar is 100 cent, right? This is the dollar. Okay. 100 cents. And 
the hour is not 100 cents. The hour is 60 minutes, right? So what is the quarter for 60 minutes? The quarter for 60 minutes is 15 minutes, right? La cuarta parte de 60 es 15. Si no, pregúntenle a José Atilio que los contadores, los contadores, los ingenieros son buenos con, con los números. So, la cuarta parte de 60 es 15. Yes or no, José Atilio? Yes. Ok, there you see? The teachers are also good with mathematics, me. <laughs> ok, now. Let's continue. Next one is, is 1.30. 1.30. Next one is 1.40. Oh, it's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. Or it's a quarter to 2. It's a quarter to 2, right? I will copy. Look. It's 1.30, right? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hola. What's your name? Oscar. Hi, Oscar. It's a pleasure. You are uh, Erenia's son, right? Okay, esperando a que, esperando que, que me inscriban en, en el nuevo, en okay. el, en el yeah, curso yeah. nueve, porque yo terminé el ocho, porque yo me retiré en el ocho. Okay, so it means that you speak English, right? What What's your name, yes. oh, Oscar? Sorry, Oscar. Yes. Uh, you You can speak English, right? Say uh, algo. Okay, very good. Congratulations, Elenia. Gracias. <laughs> you have a an intelligent son, eh? <laughs> okay, he retired the course number eight, right? Okay, so he can say, "I am Oscar. My name is Oscar. What's your name?" <laughs> Okay, now let's continue with the class, right? So 1.30 and the next one is 1, one uh, 40. It's 1.40, right? The next one is 1.45. Oopsie, sorry. I will erase this. Okay. Sorry, I'm not very fast with this, right? One forty. Is one forty, or if this is one forty-five, right? One forty-five. One forty-five. Or other way to say this is. Is 22 to 20 minutes to two, or it's a quarter, a quarter to two, right? Now, do you understand the analog clock? Everybody, todos entienden el reloj analogo? Yes, because some people say, No, ese no lo puedo leer. <laughs> But but I imagine just you you can learn you can I mean read right good now please repeat after me repeat after me please it's one o'clock it's one o five it's five after one. Is one fifteen. Is a quarter after one. Is one thirty. Is 
is 140. Is 20 to 2. Is 145. Is a quarter to two. Okay. Another uh, information is the next. When you say it's 130, look, 130, right? You can say it's half past. One, right? It's half past one. It's also another option. It's half past one, right? Good. Now, let's read. I need one volunteer. Let me see. I will take... Uh, Freddy, please. Can you read the, the time, please? The clock time. <laughs> It is one o'clock. It is one of five. It is five after one. It is one fifteen. It is a quarter after one. It is one thirty. It is all past one. It is one fourteen. Fourteen. It is twenty two. Two. It is one fourteen five. It is quarter to two. Thank you very much, Freddy. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, any question about this? Is the time? Is the time? Okay, now. Let's continue. What time is it? It's 105. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About 6.48 a.m. Or at about 6.48 a.m. A.M. means ante meridian, right? Ante del mediodía, ante meridian. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay, good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What time is it? It's 1.08. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About six six forty eight a.m. About six forty eight a.m. What time do employees leave? What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay, good. Any question?
क्वेश्चंस क्लास ओके गिव मी अ सेकंड आई विल कॉपी हियर जेसिका आरसेली राइट थैंक यू जेसिका आरसेली नाउ एस्टेनिया प्रेजेंट टीचर ओके वेलकम थैंक यू पार्टिसिपेंट और लिसनर eh, por unos minutitos listen, solo voy a dejar a una compañera que, que, que fue conmigo a Guatemala, la voy a dejar a Armenia y ya me voy para mi casa ok, very easy pero right. ya, ya, estoy, ya estoy cerca Guatemala, Armenia uh, it's a long <laughs> trip suena fácil no, pero ya, ya, okay. ya voy cerca de Armenia ok, excelente ahí nos trae unas pupusas de Armenia ok Ay, qué rico esta hora ya. <laughs> Con gusto, teacher. Ok, good. <laughs> Ingrid, Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ok, participan, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee. Ok, solo Brenda Lee nos falta entonces. Ok, let's continue. Action. Let's go to the action. Good. Now, here we have six clocks, right? The first clock says, what time is it? It's 20 after nine. Number two. It's, what time is it, number two? It's 10 to eight. It's 10 to eight. Seven. 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 No, no, it's 10 to 8. It's 10 to 8. Let me see. It's 10. Yes. Yeah, right. It's 10 to 8. Mm -hmm. Let's copy, right? It's 10. To eight. What time is it? It's ten. Wait. Very good. Now, next one, number three. What time it is, is it? It's a quarter after one. A quarter after one? Yeah. Okay. It's a quarter after one. Okay, nice. So let's copy, right? It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Good. Next one, number four. What time is it? It is five. 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 It's five or five. Okay, let's continue with number five, right? What time is it? It is a quarter, yeah. quarter to three. It's a quarter to three. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay, nice. I like your security. It's a quarter to three. Nice. Let's copy. It's a quarter. Two, three. Uh huh. Correct. And the last one. It is eight, eight after, after six. After six. Oh. It's eight after six. Okay. Let me see. Okay, that's it, right? Now, 
We're going to do something, right? We're going to make the merry go round. Rueda de caballitos, right? And let's start with, you're going to make a question and your partner is going to answer, right? So, um, Freddy, Freddy, question number one. Gracias, Maria, answer number one. Please do it. Gracias, Maria. What time is it? It's 20 after nine. Good, thank you. Gracias, Maria. You make the question to Delia, please. Number two. Delia, what time is it? What time it's is ten, it? What time is it? It's 10 to 8. Delia, you make the question to Jonathan. Jonathan, what time is it? It's a quarter after one. Okay, thank you. Jonathan, you make the question to Ingrid. Ingrid, what time is it? Ingrid? It's five oh five. Okay, Ingrid, you made the question to Jose Tilio. Jose Tilio, what time is it? He is a quarter to three. And the last one, Jose Tilio, you made the question to uh, Maria Rene. Maria Rene, what time is it? It's eight after six. Good. There we go. Jose Tilio, what time is it? What time is it? No, no. Is it? It's it. Mm, okay. It is it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, any question, class? Any question all day? Tick tac, tick tac, tick tac. No questions? Let's continue, right? Oh, sorry. Okay, very good. All right. All right. Okay. Now we're going to learn about the meaning uh, about the meaning of the word early late and on time early late and on on time i mean right good okay the meeting is at 7 a.m right in the morning 7 a.m in the morning now, if I come at 6.50 a.m., I am early. The meeting is at 7, and I am at 6.50, I am early. Second one. I come at 7 a.m., right? Exactly. You're on time. You're on time. I am on time, right? And finally, I come at 7.15. Uh, you are late. Early, on time, and late. Do you understand the concepts? Entendemos el concepto? Early, on time, and late? Yes or yes? Siempre tarde. Yes, <laughs> oh, wait, who? <laughs> who is always late? <laughs> ¿Quién es siempre tarde? No, oh, no, come on. Ah. The, oh, 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 you're talking to the teacher, right? No, today I was two minutes late. Hoy me agarró la tarde dos minutos, right? <laughs> okay. Que me estaba fallando el internet. Let me see. 
Eh, uh -huh, correct, Elsa. Very good. Elsa understand the, the concept. Now, let's go to an exercise. Okay, the meeting is at 10 a.m., right? The meeting is at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time is the meeting? 10 a.m. Uh-uh. Am I late? No, you're not. It's 10 to 10. 10 to 10. That's right. You're early. So let's practice this conversation, right? Let's practice this conversation. Let me see. I will have uh, Maria Rene, please. Maria Rene, your letter A, right? And Evelyn, your letter B. Action. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, right? Tonight we have Maria Rene and Evelyn. Action. What time is the meeting? 10 a.m. Oh, I'm late. No, no, wait, wait. You're an actress. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Am I, I late? Oh, no. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Am I late? Am I? Am I? Am I late? Am I late? Am I late? No, you're not. It's ten of ten to ten. Ten to ten. That's right. You're early. Good. Ten to ten in this case is early, right? Is early. Okay. Now. Let's go to the next conversation. The video call is at 7 a.m., right? 7 a.m. What time is the video call? 7 a.m. Uh-uh, am I late? No, you aren't. It's 2 to 7. 2 to 7? That's right. You're on time. That's right. You're on time, right? Okay, repeat after me, please. What time is the video call? Seven a.m. Uh uh. Am I late? Am I late? No, you aren't. It's two to seven. Two to seven? That's right. You're on time. Okay, now I have two students practicing this conversation. Uh, William, please, and Erenia. William, your letter A, Erenia, letter B. Right, ready? One, two, three, action. Is a video call? 7 a.m. Uh -oh. late. Am I late? Am I late? No, you are. It's two to seven. 
Two to seven. That's right. You are on time. Don't worry, William. You're on time, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And the last conversation. Ready? The workshop is at 2 p.m. What time is the workshop? 2 p.m. Uh-oh. Am I late? Yes. You are. You are tardista. It's a quarter after two. A quarter after two. So it's 15 minutes late. Right? A quarter after two. That's right. You're late. Repeat after me, please. What time is the workshop? Two p.m. Uh oh. Am I late? Yes, you are. It's a quarter after two. A quarter after two? A quarter after two? That's right. You're late. Tardista, right? Nobody is like that in this group. En este grupo nadie tiene esa costumbre. Todos están a las ocho en punto ya conectados. Yes. Hasta el teacher. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, two volunteers in this case. Let me see. It's going to be eh, Freddy and Gracia yes. María, right? Freddy, your letter A. Gracia María, B. What time is the workshop? 2 p.m. Uh oh, and I lay. Yes, you are. It's a quarter after two. A quarter after two? That's right. You are late. That's right, Freddy. You're late. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, very good. I have a message here. Let me see. Okay, thank you, Ada. Reactivation of Ada. Thank you. Now. Any question? Oh, we finish, right? We finish. Now. We're going to go to the book, right? I have a resource here, right? Okay, listen to the audio, please. Page 30, exercise 2. Conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> 4 a.m. Can you imagine? Oh, they kill you if they wake up at 4 a.m., right? Because it's the most special time to sleep. Uh huh. Okay, now again, one more time. Page 30, exercise 2, conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. 
Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m., and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Thank you for nothing, right? Now, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. And repeat. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake. Now. Okay, class. Questions? Questions, questions? Now, let's practice the conversation, right? Are you ready? So, I need a Debbie and I need a John. In this case, I'm going to have a... I'm going to have Erenia, yes. Erenia, you are Debbie. And William, you are John. Okay? But we're going to practice with the telephone, right? Ready? Chikirin. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Calling for Australia. Australia? And a conference in Sydney. Remember? All oh, right. What time is it? Is what time is it there? It's ten p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am a uh, white. No. Okay, good. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Okay, Erenia and William, good pronunciation. But now, for the next conversation, I need more emotion. Imagine you're, you're actors, right? You say, eh, I'm in a conference in Sydney, remember? Or let's say, it's a four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. You know? Four a.m.? You know? Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. You know, like, oh, that's okay. I'm awake now, right? <laughs> Imagine you at four o'clock in the morning, right? And they wake you up. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Brenda. Welcome to the class, to the participation.
ओके ब्रेन नाइस ए ब्रेंडाली नाउ दिस इज नॉट देयर ओके नाउ ए वी गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस दिस कन्वर्सेशन विद आई से विद इमोशन विद इमोशन एक्टर ब्रेक एन एक्टर राइट Evelyn, your your Debbie, and Maria Rene, your your John, right? One, two, three. Action. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Chikri. Okay, Evelyn, can you can you copy? Maria Rene? You're ready, Maria Rene? Yes. Okay, so but I I I suppose Evelyn has some problem, right? So Maria Rene and uh, Jose Atilio, right? Jose Atilio, you're going to be John. And Maria Rene is going to be Debbie, right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we have Jose Atilio and Maria Rene. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? And as conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay, very good. I like it more. Come on. Now we're going to have. Let me see. Falta eh, salsa, va a decir el prof. Huh? Sorry? Le, le falta salsa la conversación. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah, I like it. Jose Atilio, very natural. Yes. Are you an actor, Jose Atilio, or an engineer? No, I'm an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no, that's okay. Uh, we have uh, Jessica, no, no, Jessica Perez, no, right? Ingrid, Ingrid and Brenda, right? Ready? Ingrid, you're Debbie, and Brenda, you're John. Auction. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling for Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time it, it is there? What time is it? What, what time is it there? It's, it's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, really? Sorry. Thanks. Okay. I awake now. I'm awake now, right? Okay. I'm, a, Very good. I'm awake. Nice. Congratulations. Now, the next conversation is going to be uh, Rene Alex, no, Rene Alex, no, jo Jonathan, no, Jonathan, and Ada, right? Jonathan, you are John, and Ada, you're going to be Debbie, right? One, two, three, action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling calling for Australia. 
Australia. I am um, conferring in CISNET. Remember? Oh, right. What day is, is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning. Four, in, four, four o'clock in the morning. No, 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 no. In like four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I I am. I am out. No. Okay, I am awake now. See? I am awake now. Ada, repeat. I am awake now. I am awake now. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Good, good conversation, right? Vamos mejorando en la lectura. Excelente, excelentoso, right? Now I have uh, Delia. In Gracia Maria. Delia, you're Debbie. Gracia Maria, you're John. Action. Hello. Hi, De Debbie. This is John. I'm calling for Australia. Australia? I had a conference in Sydney, remember? Ah, all right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I really sorry. That's okay. I wake up now. Okay, look at this. Look at this. It says what time is it? What time is it? Repeat. What time is it? What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? Repeat, come on. What time is it there? What time is it there? Good, thank you. Now look at this. I'm... Mm, mm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Repeat, please. I'm really sorry. Okay, now the last one. I'm awake. I'm awake. Estoy despierto, right? I'm awake now, right? Okay, now let's go to the next volunteers. Today we have to practice this conversation a lot. Okay, uh, Kenya is listening, right? Uh, Ready? Me, teacher. Ready and Freddy versus Irene again, right? Freddy, you're John. Irene, you're Teddy. One, two, three, action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? And at a conference in Spain, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It is 10 p.m. And it is 4 o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Good. Enthusiasm. I like it, right? I like it a lot. Uh, Dudley, where is Dudley? Ah, here. Dudley, come on. Claps to this couple and clap for everybody, for all the students. You're wonderful. You're great. Thanks. I love you all. Okay. Thank you. 
Very good. Now, here they're using information question with what time? Look. I will show you. What time is it? So you say what time, right? Now we're going to learn about this in the next exercise. I uh, hear right. The next exercise. Sorry, give me a second. Mm. I have a problem here. Give me a second. Voy a dejar de compartir un segundito. Permítame un segundo. Ok, hoy sí. Good. Ahí estamos. Hoy sí. Now, please listen. What time is it? Ya lo practicamos, pero ahora vamos a escuchar el audio, ¿ok? Let me see. Listen, please. Page 31, exercise 3, grammar focus. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after 1. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. It's 20 to 2. It's 1.45. It's a quarter to 2. Okay. Any question? One more time, please. One more time. Oh, sorry, I have a message here. Uh, Jessica Carolina. Ah, okay, excellent. Jessica Carolina, nice. What time is it? Ah, by the way, I will take the attendance, right? Elsa, solo me pone presente en el grupo, por favor, en el chat. Jessica Carolina, yes. Present. Okay, thank you. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Ya puede participar, ¿verdad? Sí. Excelente. Oso. Eh, Estenia. Present teacher y Good. justo guardando el carro en casa, solo bajo equipaje y ya estoy lista para participar. Ok, yo pensé que estaba diciendo solo bajo las pupusas. ¿Y ¿Qué pasó? <risa> Ya no había. Ah, oh, ok. Ay, ya hay que pasar, ya no. Ya, Ay, ya no había. La regamos, ok. No, Freddy, Freddy. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia. Hoy es día jueves, ¿verdad? Sé que ya sabemos que está ocupadita, pero ya le puse la asistencia, Kenia. So, gracias, María. Present. Delia. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Ada. Present. Thank you. Jonathan. Present. Thank you. René Alexi. Un mensaje ahí, René Alexi, para que quede constancia que está en la clase, aunque sea de oyente, ¿verdad? Ok. Brenda. Present. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Jessica Pérez, de oyente, ¿verdad? Yo le puse. Eh, Julio Atilio. Ah, sorry, José Atilio. Excuse me, José Atilio. Don't worry. Ya, ya es la hora, Present. ya. <ríe> ok. Thank you. Eh, Brenda Lee. No, oh, no, no asistió ahora Brenda Lee. Eh, María René. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Janet. Evelyn. Present teacher. Good. Se le fue un ratito el internet, ¿verdad, Evelyn? No, estaba peleando con mi niño. 
Oh, para que se nada. Pobrecita la princesa. Ok, William. Present. Ok, thank you. En Erenia. Present. Good, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Right? Now let's continue. Let's continue work. Now, what time is it? Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six clocks. Right? So what are you going to do? You're going to tell what time is it, and then you're going to say the time, right? For example, number one, what time is it? It's 20 after two. Or you can say it's 220, right? The two options are correct. Good. Now, conversation two. Ladies and gentlemen, Erenia versus William. Erenia A, William B. Number two. What time is it? It's 2.20. 2? 20. Two, sorry, 2.20? Two mm, it's number two, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's... look, it, this is the... Right? Okay. It's... It's... And... Six. Six? Uh-huh. The, um... Fifty. Fifty, correct. Is six fifty. Or, William, you can say is ten to seven. Is ten to seven. What time is it? It's ten to seven, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, let's go to the number three. Number three is Evelyn and Maria Renee. Hi. Evelyn, ready? Okay, so in this case, it's going to be Maria Rene and uh, Jose Atilio. Number, ah, huh? ah, yes, Jose Atilio. What time is it? Yes. A quarter. A quarter? A quarter or nine? Two nine. Say nine. A, a quarter okay. to nine. nine. Good. Thank you. Now we have um, Ingrid. Ingrid and Brenda, please. What time is it? Listen, what time is it? Right? Okay, go ahead. What time is it? Eleven five a.m. It's eleven o o five, right? Oh, o five. It's not all the the people who speak English who say o five. They say it's eleven five. No problem. But okay. other people say eleven o five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember the uh, the o is the zero. You don't say eleven zero five. No, you say eleven o five, right? Okay, who's next? <clears throat> After Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid and Brenda, right? So I have now Jonathan, Jonathan and Ada, right? Number five, Jonathan and Ada. Ada, what time is it? Okay, very good. Look, look at this. I will show you. Give me a second. 
Is one fifteen or it's a quarter after one? One fifteen or a quarter after one? Now, number five. Is is one fifty? No, no. Is it's two, two. So la do, verdad? Uh -huh. um... Es que ahí se ve la agujita a la par de la otra, pero. Uh -huh. Está señalando el dos, ¿verdad? So, is two? Is, is two? I no sé, no sé, no sé. two fifteen. Don't worry, no, don't worry. No se preocupe, que esto de la, la hora cuesta. Hasta en español me cuesta a mí. <ríe> ok. Is okay. one fifteen. Es quiere decir la, la una y quince. Pero en, en tu reloj no es la una, es, es tú. Es una dos. Ajá, ah, la dos. es tú, fifteen. ¿Sí? Tú, fifteen. Tú, fifteen. Ajá. O oh, another mm -hmm. option, another option is a quarter after two. ¿Right? O sea, se puede decir de las dos formas. Ah, correct, yes. Ok. Entonces, y it's a quarter to two. Uh -huh. A quarter to two. Uh -huh. A quarter to two. Three. To three, correct. It's a quarter to three, right? Ah, no, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, estoy viendo al revés. A <laughs> After. Two. No, no, ok, wait. Vamos a escribirlo porque ya, ya me confundí yo también, wait. <risa> es por la hora, es por la hora, no se preocupe, tranquila. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo, no se preocupe. It's como el, la agujita chiquita está en el lado del 2, vamos a decir, is tú ¿Cuánto, Ada? Is tú Ayúdeme. Eh, 15. Ajá, how do you say 15 in English? Ah. Uh... 40. One more, right? Uno más, Demi. 15, right? Look. 14, 15. It's 2, 15. Aquí está, mire. 1, 15, It's... pero nosotros vamos a poner, el, en el caso de two nosotros 15. vamos a poner 2, 15, right? It's 2. 2, 15. Permítame. Una reacción a esto. Is two fifteen. Okay, thank you, Ada. Is two fifteen. Now let's go to number four, right? In this case, ah, ya me olvidé si va para arriba o para abajo en el listado. A ver, um, para arriba creo que vamos, ¿verdad? Eh, Delia en Gracia María. Number six, Delia en Gracia María. Gracia María. What time is it? Half past four. Huh? Half past four, Half yes. Half past four. Nice, congratulations, congratulations, you see? Now, any extra question? Now, let's listen to this, right? Okay. Listen to the audio, please. Page 31, exercise 3, grammar focus. Is it a.m. or p.m.? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. <clears throat> okay. You see? So, a.m. means anti-meridian, antes del mediodía, right? And p.m. means past meridian. Right? 
So, because, you know, uh, the time is divided in 24 hours, right? Let's see. Especially when it's military time, right? 24 hours. We rotate. Rotation, right? And then, but we manage 12 hours and 12 hours right 12 hours and 12 hours it's 24 right 12 más 12 24 easy right yes so the and to identify if these are the time in the morning or in the afternoon we say a.m or we say p.m right okay good but also Instead of say a.m., you can say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the need, in the evening, sorry, or at night, right? Those are options to describe it. Now listen again for one more time. Page 31, uh, exercise three, excuse me? grammar focus. Sorry. Is it a.m. or p.m.? It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Okay, nice. Any question, class? Questions, questions? Do you have questions? PM, AM? Teacher. O'clock, three o'clock? Four o'clock? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Eh, en, los, en los casos que se utiliza, no se utiliza PM ni AM, sino que Son las 15, las 16, ah, las militar. 21. Militar. Uh -huh. It's the same in English and in Spanish. The 24, the 23, the, the 17. Okay. Uh -huh. It's the same. Okay. But remember, only, only militar. Sir, you uh -huh. sir. Sí, yes. Only militar. Are you militar, Stenia? No. No, pero sí, eh, en mi departamento veo mucho el tema de, de la seguridad. Uh -huh. Entonces ellos usan mucho esos horarios, las, eh, los agentes de seguridad. Uh -huh. a, la, a las 12, a las 13, a las 15. Uh -huh. yes, eh, incluso en los informes que ellos me pasan de las novedades que le llaman ellos, uh -huh. colocan las horas así, las 16, las 19, las 21. They say, right? un carro chocó uh -huh. enfrente de la compañía a las 17. Uh -huh. eh, o ingresó proveedor X, uh... X. Ok, uh -huh. la pizza entró a las 3 de la tarde. <risa> okay. A las 15 horas. A las 15 horas, ah, sí, a las 15 horas. A las 15 horas. En las 16 entró también el pollo campera. <risa> y a las 19 las pupusas. Ok, yes. Y a las 21 voló penqueado por querer entrar a la compañía. <risa> okay. Exacto. Yes, ok, good, thank se, you. ¿Se identifica como or militar o solo se pronuncia como tal? ¿O hay algún identificativo? No, 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 solo las 17, las 20, las 20. Ok. That. Yes. Thank you. Ok, good. Uh, ahora dice, me cuesta... Uh, Ah, pero no, pero no entiendo, Ada, ¿es, es por la hora de, de esta clase o decir la hora? Ada? No, no, es cuando son los, o sea, cuando son como así, no en punto, sino como ah, en, en minutos. En, o sea, diez y minutos, ajá, diez y nueve y minutos, entonces eso no, es lo que me cuesta. Hagámoslo ahorita, para, para. ahora es cuando, Chile Verde dicen, ¿verdad? Vaya, mire, lo vamos a hacer con, con reloj electrónico, oiga, para que se vea ahí, ¿verdad? Permítame que, ahí está, la cámara me hacía estorbo aquí. A veces uno pone la cámara y le, le, le cubre. 
Ok. Este es fácil, ¿verdad? 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Por ejemplo, right? This is 7 o'clock. O 7 en el reloj, dice. O'clock, miren. O'clock, yes. Ok. Vamos a comenzar desde el 5, 10, 15, ahí en adelante. Oiga. Ok. That's ok, Ingrid, copiado. Permítame, vamos a poner aquí. Ya me robaron el lapicero. Aquí está. Ingrid, right? Oyente por un momento. Ok. Good. Eh, del 0 al 10, eh, Ada, del 0 al 10, de las 7 a las 7 y 10, no, a las 7 y 9, quiero decir. Eh, contamos con 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8 y 0, 9. Ahí, ¿ok? Del 0, 1 al 0, eh, 9, decimos 0, 5. 7, 0, 5. Es el más fácil, ¿verdad? 705, 702, 07, etcétera, etcétera, right? Pero también puede decir, va, digamos, vamos a ponerlo aquí. 705. 705, right? No, no, sorry, 09. En este caso, ¿sí? Pero puede decir también, si quiere. 9. Puede decir minutos, right? O solo 9. After 7. Quiere decir 9 después de las 7, right? 9 after 9, after 7. O 9 minutes after 7, right? Ok. Now, cuando llegamos a las 7 y 10, entonces decimos 7, 10. Mire, 7, 10. O 10 after 7, ¿ve? ¿Ok? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita, Ada? Sí, sí. Ya yes, va, muy bien. Ahora, cuando ya son las 7 y 15, tengo la opción de decir, it's 7, 15 o oh, it's a quarter. ¿Por qué a quarter? Porque quarter quiere decir un cuarto. ¿Sí? Un cuarto after seven. Pero no un cuarto de la casa, ¿eh? un cuarto de horas. Es a quarter after seven. ¿You see? Vamos a ponerlo aquí arriba para que no nos confundamos. Ahí estamos. 7.15, a quarter after 7, right? Sigamos. Luego llegamos a las 7.20, pongamos. It's 7.20, right? O 20... Uh -huh. 20 after 7. Vea que en todo vamos diciendo after, 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 después, 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 ¿eh? after. Luego llegamos a las 7 y media y podemos decir, mire, este es un poco más complicado. 7.30 or a half que quiere decir una mitad, así como decimos un cuarto, también decimos la mitad de la hora, ¿ve? A half, past, pasado, o after, usted puede decir after, o puede decir past, ¿ve? ambas palabras son correctas. Past seven, ¿ve? Ha pasado la mitad de las siete. ¿Sí? Half, past seven. Good. 
Ahora, cuando ya pasó de las 7.30, digamos, 7.40, y 40, bueno, 7.40. Ya no decimos after. Podemos decir simplemente 7.40, ¿verdad? It's 7.40. 740. Oh, is 22. Como la siguiente hora son las 8, entonces ponemos son 20 a las 8. Is 22, Adrian. Ya no usamos after como en este, sino que usamos el to. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Y ahora vamos al cuarto de hora. El cuarto de hora sería 45, 7, 45, right? 7, 45. O en este caso podemos decir 15 minutos o a quarter. A quarter. Two, otra vez, de two. ¿Cuál es la siguiente hora? Eight. Un cuarto para las ocho. Un cuarto más para mi casa. <ríe> ok. Then, eh, number, the, the last one, right? 7.50. Comúnmente ya a esta hora ya, ya no dicen las 7.50, pero de, se puede también. 7.50. Ok. O oh, 10 to 8. 10 to 8, right? Entonces vamos en orden, ¿sí? Podemos decir simplemente las 7 y algo, las 7 y 10, las 7 y 20, las 7 y 40, las 7 y 50, ¿ya? Yes? Y cuando estamos entre el 7, 7, 0, 0, 7, 7 o'clock hasta el 7, 0, 9, eh, podemos decir... Eh, por ejemplo, 109, 107, right? 709, ah, no, sorry. 701, por ejemplo. 702, 703, 704, etcétera, etcétera, right? O los minutos que han pasado, por ejemplo, si han pasado tres minutos, three after seven, ¿ya? Yeah? Muy bien. Luego vamos de 10 en 10, o 7, 10, o ten after seven, ¿sí? Muy bien, pero creo que eh, para que no se confunda, si quiere, dígalo así, ¿ves? Solo seven, o eight, o nine, ten, seventeen, twenty, forty, fifty, ¿ah? ¿eh? Para que no le vaya costando, ¿sí? Eh, yes. Voy a mandar un video de la hora. What time is it? What time is it? Es <ríe> una cancioncita también ahí. Muy bonita para aprender el, el, la hora. Porque, uh, le soy honesto, a veces hasta personas adultas no se pueden reloj análogo. Sí. Ya está acostumbrada a ver el celular y hasta le preguntan al celular, Siri, ¿qué hora es, Siri? <ríe> ok. Alexa, ¿qué hora es? Hora de los tamales. Ah, oh. Ahora las pupusas que nos trajo Estenia. Ok, ya. ¿Verdad? Pero cuando ya ven un reloj análogo, ya, uh, no me lo puedo. O cuando vemos el reloj de la, de la Don Rúa, ¿no? Todavía funciona, por cierto. Ya nos cuesta leer la hora. Así que no te preocupes. Pero aquí más o menos, para que tenga una idea, y luego voy a, voy a enviar el video más noche. Good. Sí, gracias. ¿Mm? ¿Alguna parte que le cueste, por ejemplo, la media hora, el cuarto? Mm, okay, que no, voy... es que... Uh -huh. No, o sea, ya ahorita como me lo fue explicando, siento que ya, ya me quedó más... más o, o sea, menos. como... Claro, ajá, más o menos. Sí, yo creo que Pero... lo que cuesta es del 701 al 709, ¿verdad? Porque usted no puede mm. decir zero, no puede decir zero, sino que oh... Uh, ajá. No, pero también me costaba como, como el cuarto y el faltando. Ajá, siempre este. es tú. 
Siempre usted uh -huh. usa la preposición tú. Ajá. Ok, sigamos entonces. Paramos, no, seguimos, sí. Veamos. Say each time different way. Mm, ok, aquí lo que vamos a hacer es que tenemos ocho hor horas, ¿no? Ocho horas, vamos a hacer lo más grande. Entonces me van a colocar la otra forma de cómo se dice. Por ejemplo, es nine o'clock, es nine p.m. ¿Sí? Entonces vamos a usar, eh, cuando sea morning, vamos a decir p.m. Cuando sea night o afternoon, vamos a decir, no, perdón. Cuando sea morning, vamos a decir a.m. <ríe> a.m. Y cuando sea noche, vamos a decir p.m., right? Ya, la hora ya no está, no está ganando, ¿verdad? <ríe> ¿Ok? Va, lo voy a dejar un ratitito solo en lo que vamos a tomar un poquito de agüita. Otra forma de decirlo, ¿ok? I'm coming back. Okay, let's do it together, right? It's nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine p.m., right? Number two, it's eight o'clock in the morning. What time is it? It's eight a.m. It's eight a.m. Very good. It's eight a.m. Number twelve. Number twelve. <laughs> Number three. It's twelve o'clock at night. Twelve o'clock at night. Is well, a.m. No. At night. It's midnight. Ooh, uh -huh. la hora de los espantos, right? Ooh, it's midnight. You can say it's midnight or you can say it's 12 a.m. That's correct. Ya lo había dicho José Atilio, ¿verdad? It's 12 a.m. Y también William creo que lo dijo. It's 12 a.m. o it's midnight. Cualquiera de los dos es correcto. Ok, number four. It's three in the afternoon. It's three in the afternoon. What time is it? It's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m., correct. Number five. It's 3 a.m. Este es it's al revés, ¿verdad? It's 3 o'clock. It's three o'clock. In the morning. In the morning, correct. Yes. It's three o'clock in the morning. Number six. Ah, uh, number six. It's six. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's six o'clock in the evening. Correct. In the evening. Number seven, please. It's four o'clock in the evening. It's four o'clock in the evening, correct. PM is in the... No, no, but I guess... Es que un poco the difícil. Por, porque lo, the ajá, eh, en los the Estados afternoon. Unidos hay una época del año también en Canadá que son las siete de la noche y todavía hay sol. Entonces, es un poco complicado. Pero por ahí de las seis en adelante ya, ya empiezan a decir evening, evening, ¿ok? So it's four... O'clock in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon. Good. Number eight. It's noon. It's noon. Yeah. It's noon, right? 
or listen it's 12 uh o'clock in the afternoon um, in the afternoon yes in the afternoon aunque va comenzando la tarde pero sí decimos in the afternoon right okay class any extra question Vamos a ver si hay un ejercicio más acá. Ok. Here, right. Good. Now listen. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world, right? Están ahí molestando a la gente que está dormida. Están hablando a todos lados. Ok. So we're going to talk about what time is in Vancouver, Bangkok, London, Tokyo and Sao Paulo, right? Vancouver is a city in, in Canada. Bangkok is the capital city of Thailand. London is the capital city of England. Tokyo is the capital city of Japan. Sao Paulo is a city, right? In Brazil. What is the capital of Brazil, class? Brasilia. 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 In the capital of Canada? Eh, Ottawa. Ottawa. In the capital of Belize? Belmapan. Ah, okay, yes. Good. In the capital of Sur eh, Surinam? In next to Brazil? Para Mario. My goodness, Jose Atilio. Excuse me. What a good memory, eh? Nice. Para Mario, yes. In the capital of Jamaica? Kingston. Kingston, okay. Sorry, this is... <laughs> ya no pasamos a geografía. Now, listen, please. Page 32, exercise 4, listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. They're getting married, right? Ah, oh, no, excuse me. No, it's not dan, dan, dan. The, the song, the original song is dan, 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 dan. <laughs> Okay. Now, for the second time, listen, please. Pay attention. Page 32, exercise 4. This, this exercise is difficult, so pay attention. Listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. Okay. So what time is it in Bangkok? 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m., right? 7 a.m. A.m. Do you agree, class? ¿Están todos de acuerdo? Yes. We're going to listen for the third time. Don't worry. Now, let's talk about London, England, right? The land of the Beatles. ¿Qué le pasó a esto? 
Lauren, again. Page 32, exercise 4, listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsok. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's 9 in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. Yeah. Now, let me see. I have a problem here. Page 32, exercise 4, listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. I can't stop. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Sorry, sorry. Let me see. Sorry, I will open again. Vamos a abrirlo nuevamente que me, me está sacando eco. Excuse me, give me some seconds, class. Esta noche me ha pasado de todo. <laughs> ok. Solo voy a bajarle un poquito porque la entrada de este libro es un poquito fuerte. Ok. Ahí estamos. Let me see. Perdonen el desarreglo técnico aquí. Hoy sí vamos a compartir. Here, right. Ok, hoy sí, que me estaba haciendo eco. Page 32, oh. exercise 4. Listening. It's 4 p.m. Page 32, exercise 4. Tracy four. and Eric are Listening. calling friends in different It's parts of the world. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Listen. Tracy and What Eric are calling in friends cities? in different parts of the world. Listen. Sorry. What time is it What in time cities? is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, Vancouver. It's so it's 7 a.m. Oh. I don't know what happened, class. Todo estaba bien. Sorry. No sé qué pasa. Permítame un segundito. Voy a intentarlo la última vez. Sorry. Me está dando problema técnico los libros. <ríe> ok. Excuse me, excuse me, right? Para mientras les recuerdo que podemos completar la... La plataforma esta noche, si nos queda tiempo. Hoy sí creo. Sería la tarea número 13, ¿verdad? Ok, en teoría ya me, ya me dio el sonido, sorry.
Si no es un problema de Zoom, porque ya... Ya lo probé afuera sin compartirlo. Vamos a ver. Page 32, okay. exercise 4, sí, listening. ¿verdad? It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Ok, habíamos dicho que para en Bangkok es Listen. 7, right? What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Ok, it's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. 7 a.m., right? Ok. 7 a.m. Hasta aquí nos habíamos quedado. Ok. 7 a.m. Uh -huh. Now in London. It's calling Kermsock. Oh. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. Okay, what time is it in London? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 a.m., right? Okay. Finally. 1 a.m. Good. Let's continue. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. So what time is in Tokyo? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Good. Thank you. 9 a.m. And finally, in Sao Paulo, right? Sao Paulo. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. So what time is in Sao Paulo class? 9 p.m. 9 p.m., right? Oh, it's very different, the, the time, right? Mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Okay, that's it, right? So the last five minutes, we are going to review uh, the numbers. To finish the class, right? Let me see. Okay, listen to the numbers, please. Page 6, Exercise 11, Personal Information. Part A, Listen and Practice. Zero. O. Oh. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Remember, don't say uh, four, four, no, it's four. Don't say five, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, no, five. Six, seven, eight. It's not A, A, no. It's eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, ten. Right? Okay. Good. So we're going to practice the last numbers and we finish the class. Now, listen, please. Here I am, here I am, okay, here. Page 
Page 19, Exercise 7, Numbers and Ages. Part A. Listen and practice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 101, 102, 102, 103, 103. Okay, so these are the numbers, right? Thank you very much, class. Sorry for the inconvenience. Perdón que hoy les fallé, ¿verdad? Me estuvo fallando la, la tecnología ahí. Sorry. So, uh, Ingrid, can you stay with me the 10 minutes tonight? Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, for the rest of you, have a good night. God bless you. I pass the attendance. Uh, Elsa, solo mándeme el mensaje ahí. No me vaya a hablar, por favor. Para que no se me le arruine la garganta. ¿Sí? Ok, Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank See you. you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Estenia. Present teacher. Good bye. Thank okay. you. No, thank you. Bye bye. Kenya. Bye. bye. Aquí voy caminando, teacher, ah, okay. pero preste atención más o menos a la clase, pero yo mañana ya estaré al día. Excelente, gracias y bendiciones por la buena obra que está haciendo. Okay. Muchas gracias. Gracias, María. Present. Good night. Good night. Eh, Delia. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, Freddy. Present. Good, good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Ada. Present. Good night. Good night. Jonathan. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alexi me manda el mensaje de asistencia. Brenda. Present. Good night. God bless you. Ingrid. Present teacher. Ok, no se me voy a retirar. Ahí está eh, René Alexi. Thank you, René Alexi. Jessica Pérez, mensaje también, porfa. José Atilio. Present. Ok, have a good night. Brenda Lee. Thank you. You're welcome. Brenda Lee. Eh, María René. Present. Bye bye. God bless you, María René. Oh, thank you. Ok, Evelyn. Present. Good night. Good night. William. Present. Bye bye, William. See bye. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Uh, Erenia? Present. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, hello, Ingrid. It's a pleasure. How are you today? Hello, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine? Okay. Well, do you like the class? ¿Le ha parecido la clase, Ingrid? Yes, Tisha. Okay. Muy bien. Estamos aprendiendo aunque sea el ABC, one, two, three. <ríe> sí. Sí, muy bien. Muy bien. ¿Hay algún tema que quisiera que, que analizáramos? Algo que no lo he entendido bien. La hora, el verbo to be, el presente simple. Sí, teacher. A mí, a mí me cuesta bastante el, la interpretación. Uh -huh. Se tra la, practico bastante la pronunciación porque me... He descargado algunas aplicaciones como el Duolingo. 
Ajá, para estar practicando bueno. la pronunciación. Pero me cuesta como la interpretación. Leer, entonces. Fíjense Ajá. que mañana, mañana es viernes, ¿verdad? Tomorrow is Friday. Eh, les voy a enviar un libro, un audiolibro. Eh, es largo, dura como dos horas. Súper largo, pero este... Sí me gustaría que, aunque sea, le dedicara unos 15 minutos o, o media hora, no sé, el fin de semana, para, para irlo escuchando, irlo le, leyendo. Porque eh, lo que le cuesta a usted se llama sintaxis. La sintaxis es el orden cor lógico de las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando uno está leyendo, como que le cuesta interpretar. Pero si le van leyendo a uno y uno va viendo lo escrito, como que es un poquito más fácil, ¿verdad? Es un poquito más fácil. Entonces, esa es una de las, de las recomendaciones que yo le daría. Segunda recomendación, este, Ingrid, este, no sé si usted tiene Netflix o Disney o, o HBO Max o alguna aplicación de, donde pueda ver películas. Netflix. Netflix tiene. Ah, va, vale, muy bien. Entonces, otra cosa que, que yo le sugiero que haga, que me vea una película, oígame bien, semanal. Pero el, el tipo de películas que va a ver es de muñequitos. <ríe> películas de muñequitos. ¿Sabe por qué? Porque el lenguaje que utilizan es bien sencillo. Entonces es un poquito eh, fácil de entender. Pero si aún así le cuesta, póngale subtítulos en inglés. Porque ahí le da la opción. Va a poner en español. Pero usted no, el español para nada. Solo inglés. Oiga. Y le pone los subtítulos. Le aseguro que de aquí a cuatro meses, porque ahorita vamos comenzando. No quiere decir que, ah, entonces ya no va a entender. No, no. Hay que ir aprendiendo poquito a poquito, pero no es algo así como para que se aflija. Va a decir, qué difícil, porque no, estamos comenzando. sí Pero si usted se acostumbra, va escuchando su, su oído, va acostumbrándose a escuchar los sonidos de inglés, ¿verdad? E ir viendo, le va a ir agarrando la lógica. ¿Sí? Así que eso lo recomiendo. Y por último, ¿Qué? lo que yo aprendí ¿sí? es con música. A mí, a mí me empezó a gustar el inglés por la música. Bueno, como ya me ve que soy un poquito viejito, pues ya me gusta la música viejita también, ¿verdad? Eh, los Bee Gees, los Beatles, eh, Madonna, Cindy Lauper, Queen. Ya, y todo ese tipo de música me gusta a mí. Entonces, si usted, no sé si le gusta a usted la música. Es que yo, los, las pocas palabras o sea, que puedo entender así, las he escuchado en, así en música de los chentas. Excelente, pues estamos bien, estamos hablando el mismo lenguaje, Ingrid. <risa> ok, entonces, ahí está. Si usted se aprende una canción todas las semanas, que la escuche unas dos o tres veces, ¿verdad? Eh, la película y una canción creo que es más que suficiente, ¿verdad? Porque lo que se trata en inglés, Ingrid, es estar en contacto, siempre. Siempre estar en contacto con el inglés, estar escuchando y escuchando, porque son sonidos que nosotros no aprendimos nunca, ¿verdad? Es lo que obviamente hablamos español. <ríe> Así es que este, esas son mis recomendaciones, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, otra cosa que, que a mí como me cuesta como ordenar ¿eh? o entender es cuándo hay que contestar con, por ejemplo, yes, I do, que la repente sea, mm -hmm. sea los, es, los auxiliares le cuestan entonces. Auxiliares. Ah, vaya. Entonces hagamos una, una pequeña, un pequeño resumen ahí de del uso de los auxiliares, si te gusta, ¿verdad? Va, para comenzar, el verbo to be es como un auxiliar, ¿no? Entonces, eh, y básicamente las oraciones se dividen en afirmative, negative y question, miren. Entonces, esto es lo que ustedes tienen que aprender, que hay oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Y se tiene que aprender también que nosotros usamos la conjugación del verbo. Yo corro, tú corres, nosotros corremos, vosotros corréis. 
pero ellos no, solo dicen run, 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 y no pasan de ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, por lo tanto, ellos necesitan eh, utilizar auxiliares. Y el verbo to be, pues, es como, digamos, como un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Entonces, diga, I, I am, I am Ingrid. She is a woman. They are in the park. Ok. Mire, tenemos am, um, is y are. Solo que aquí no estamos indicando ninguna acción. Solo estamos di diciendo que o la persona son o están. Nada más. Ok. En negativo usamos la palabra not. Decimos she is not. Mire. She's not a nurse. Ella no es una enfermera, right? You are not in the house. No está en casa, right? Entonces, si lo unimos acá, en lugar de decir is not, decimos isn't. En lugar de decir are not, decimos aren't. ¿Eh? Lo contractamos, lo unimos. Y en preguntas decimos are you in the house? ¿Estás tú en casa? Contestamos yes I am. No me va a decir yes I do, ¿verdad? No, es yes I am. O no I am not. ¿Sí? Va, esto es con relación al verbo to be. Pero le repito, el verbo to be nos ayuda para describir qué es alguien, qué es, si es, si es alto, si es bajo, si es enfermera, si es doctor, si es secretaria. O nos sirve para describir en dónde está la persona, si está en su casa, en el parque, está en la cama, en la sala, ¿verdad? En cualquier parte. Para eso nos, usa el, nos sirve el verbo to be. Pero ahora vamos al uso del do y el, y el das. Y siempre, mire, vamos a dejar afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. De aquí en adelante, Ingrid, básico 2, básico 3, básico 4. Siempre va a ir viendo usted oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. ¿Ok? Siempre. Entonces, en el presente simple, bueno. ¿Para qué nos sirve el presente simple, Ingrid? Nos sirve para describir lo que hacemos como rutina, como un hábito, ¿no? Como desayunar, bañarse, ir al trabajo, dormir, ya esas son rutinas. Entonces, podemos decir que I eat pupusas every weekend, todos los fines de semana. Vamos a comer pupusa, ¿verdad? No es cierto, no es cierto, pero es solo un ejemplo. ¿Sí? Y si se fija, eh, Ingrid, no usamos el auxiliar de. Está el auxiliar do, que sirve para I, you, we, and they. Y para todos los plurales. ¿Sí? Y el das, mire, que nos sirve para. She, he, he, y para todos los singulares. ¿Ok? Va, entonces, cuando ya usamos la pregunta, ah, ahí es donde introducimos el auxiliar, mire. Para decir, yo no corro. I do not run. ¿eh? Yo no corro. Y si lo queremos unir, Ingrid, en lugar de decir do not, decimos don't. Don't. ¿Eh? Apóstrofe, I don't run, yo no corro. Ella no corre, bueno, ella no come pupusa, va. She doesn't or does not eat pupusas. ¿Sí? Entonces estamos diciendo que ella no hace algo, que ella no hace una rutina, ¿sí? Entonces ahí es donde nos sirve el auxiliar. ¿Ok? También cuando hacemos preguntas, y, y aquí es donde usted me, me dijo cómo contestar, ¿verdad? Sí. Do you live, ¿dónde vive Ingrid? 
Lourdes. Lourdes. Do you live in Lourdes? Lourdes dólar, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> ah, no, Colón. Todavía está el Colón. Colón. <risa> Do you live in Lourdes? Entonces usted dice, yes, I do. No me va a decir, yes, I am. Yes, I do. Y no, I don't. Para explicarle esto, le repito que en español no usamos estos auxiliares. Por lo tanto, no lo traducimos. ¿Sí? No se traduce. Entonces, en lugar de decir, yes, I live, o no, I, I do not live, usamos el do como un auxiliar para que sea menos complicado contestar. ¿Sí? Y indica que o lo hacemos o no lo hacemos. O vivimos o no vivimos en Londres. En lo urdes, perdón. <ríe> en Londres. En lo urdes. Comemos o no comemos pupusas. ¿Nos bañamos o no nos bañamos? <ríe> no, como no, si sí hay que bañarse. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Jugamos o no jugamos? Eso quiere decir la auxiliar. ¿Sí? Yes. Más o menos. Sí, te dije ya más o menos. Sí, es Vaya. que eso es la gente que más me cuesta, donde tengo que contestar con yes I am o yes I do. Ajá. Recuerdes, separe el verbo to be y diga, ah, esto me sirve para describir si yo estoy en algún lugar o si yo soy algo. ¿Sí? Pero usted no está ni corriendo, ni escribiendo, ni manejando, no está haciendo nada. Usted solo es o solo está. En cambio, que en el presente simple, ahí sí, hay una acción implícita, ¿verdad? Usted corre, usted duerme, usted eh, hace comida, usted, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Ok, Ingrid, it was a pleasure, ha sido un placer. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta. No, no, ok. Espero que le haya gustado la clase, pues, y que nos veamos mañana, ok. Sí, teacher, ahí estoy disculpando que estaba, a veces apago esa la cámara porque estaba bastante mal de, de la gripe. Ah, ok. Entonces, sopita, sopita para aliviarnos. <ríe> ok. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Good morning.